I am having goosebumps right now because I'm looking through and what I'm seeing is we have classrooms filled with students who are in their MSK uniform. I want to big up to those classes. Big up to um, Claxton is here with her students. Yes, representing. This year I we're love going it. to be elevating. We're elevating through excellence, leadership, engagement, vision, and vivid living, agency, tenacity, and elevation. With no further ado, let's give it up for Jazzy. Woo! Yes. One of the events that Ms. Sumter was talking about just now is the sip and paint and what we call it, sip and paint. Um, and, you know, we had our little drinks and a little cake, cupcake. The sip and paint was really, really, really relaxing. It was fun. It was a way to unwind. Karen Watts is currently the Brooklyn North Executive Superintendent. She supervises a portfolio of 232 elementary, middle, and high schools and three pre-kindergarten centers in seven community school districts. And I was able to graduate high school at 16 and I became a teacher, a math teacher at 16 years old. Lori Daniel Favors is a highly respected actress racial justice attorney and trailblazing thought leader with a long-standing commitment to the pursuit of equity and social justice. When Ms. K uh, told me the topic for today, I thought, well, now, isn't that lovely? We're going to talk about agency. And because I'm a racial justice attorney uh, and I lead a racial justice law center, the idea of agency, super, super important. If this legislation passes, Black children won't learn about our capability and become hopeless and will continue this cycle of barely any wealth or education on ourselves. But I want my peers to learn that there is so much more to us than low statistics and the thinking that we just have to struggle to make it in society. We must know where we come from to achieve this. But we must not be colorblind to the reality of systemic racism. Instead, we must be race conscious. And because of their campaign, we actually raised $25,000 that people donated that is now funding our Sankofa Saturday program, where kids from all over the country can sign in virtually and learn the truth about their history. We are fortunate to have with us New York State Assembly member Stephanie Zinnerman, who can talk to us about the bill and how it relates to Black history. We want to be able to buy Black books and buy Black curriculum and buy um, black items that support these curriculum items. So it's an economic de development model in addition to being an education model. We need to make sure that people understand that there's no part of um, black of, of American history that we have not touched, contributed to, or created. Sano was named as one of the Teen Vogue's 21, under 21 young people changing In that world. same year, during my freshman year in high school, after um, establishing the BSU, I wrote the petition to remove the Robert E. Lee statue and rename Lee Park in downtown Charlottesville. Um, I remember that was a long battle and it is something that was talked about all across news stations, um, both all across the country and internationally. And I just remember as a 15 year old being very overwhelmed by being pushed to the forefront on that issue. Um, but something that I remembered was that, you know, again, these black women have been the blueprint and black women and young people have always been at the forefront of every social justice movement. Okay, so cool. We're the school for classics. Um, as you can see, MSK is all here. We have our hoodies, you know, yeah. our women and our goals for MSK. We just want to bring each other close together and spread empowerment and the sisterhood. Just know that we're all here for each other. Cause you know, sometimes you don't have people like to talk to or vent to. So sister. I just raise this camera so they can say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're Brooklyn High School for Law and Technology, and we're um, here. My name is Laura, and um, <laughs> our mission is to um, like have a group of like empower women and everything, have a safe place, mission to come together and like be stressed, like chill, relax, and then have like, a great time here. So yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to involve the young ladies at my school and I'm excited to uplift ladies in my school and outside in our community. And I'm ready for the celebrations and I'm ready for the party. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>
So you really are incredible young women that should be praised and lifted um, and just honored for how you maintained and kept going and are with us now back in schools, doing your thing, holding these meetings. Um, we are just so proud of you and all the women on this uh, call should really look at you um, as an inspiration to them because it has not been easy to be a young woman in the high school right now uh, serving the communities that we're in. So I just want to give it up to all of you and I want to say it is truly an honor and blessing to be in a shared space with all of you.